What is up everyone, Demon Asylum here, coming at you with a new Borderlands 2 video. Before I get into it, I'd like to ask if you all can please give this video a like and a favor, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and check me out on Facebook and Twitter. I'll put links to both of those in the top of the description. So I know I'm a few days late with this video guys, and I've been slacking the past couple days as well. I apologize for both those things, and I promise they will not persist. From now on, I'm going to be uploading probably at least one video every day, and after this video, I'm going to have a couple more coming soon after. So just enjoy all the content to come, guys. I promise again that I won't be slacking anymore. So yeah, as I promised you guys, I have a Borderlands 2 save editor here to uh, mod your game saves, and it's called Borderlands 2 Save Editor R81. The R stands for revision, and 81 is the number of the update the program is on. It was made by someone on 7 Sins whose name I can't remember right now, so I'll put all the credits of that in the description. <coughs> for all the people who said that uh, if I was going to make a video about this program, because some of you guys already knew about it, for those of you who posted comments on my previous video saying that if I was going to make a video about this program that it wasn't going to work for PS3, you're all wrong. And that's because this program can mod the file from PS3. And I think the people who said that were just confused because there is an issue still. The issue is getting a hold of that file. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get that file for the Xbox using the program Horizon. You can also use Modio if for some of you guys Horizon doesn't work because I know that's been the issue lately. But, um... Getting the file for PS3, I'm not sure is possible. I'm going to be uploading another video as a follow-up to this, showing you guys how to get that PS3 file if possible, and if not, I'm still going to make a video updating you guys on where we stand with that whole situation. So PS3 users, do not fret. We've come a long way. I know it's been a struggle thus far, but I'm putting in my 100%, doing my part, and um, you know, even just having a modding tool that can 100% mod the actual PS3 file is a major step in this whole situation. So just bear with me guys and uh, wait for my next video to uh, come about the PS3 update. I can't guarantee you that that file is going to be accessible, but I can guarantee you guys an update on the situation. So yeah, just wait for that video. As for PC view, uh, the <laughs> PC users of Borderlands 2, getting the file I do know is possible. And I'll be uploading another video as well for PC users showing you how to get that file and also another way and another program to mod Borderlands 2 easier for PC so you guys can wait for that however obviously since this video is showing how to do it for xbox pc and ps3 users shouldn't leave this video because no matter whether you're editing a pc ps3 or xbox 360 save in this program you mod them all the exact same way so yeah you guys are going to want to you know still watch this so you guys can see how to actually mod everything and uh, i'm just going to be showing the basic stuff how to mod there's a lot of things you can do in depthly with this program and i'm going to be uploading different tutorials with this program to show you how to mod certain things um, with like raw data and everything for those of you who want that kind of stuff it's going to be showing you how to do really cool things in the game but I'm just covering the basics right now so uh, yeah I'm sorry for ever longing this video a couple minutes already without actually starting the tutorial but uh, here we go you're going to want to first put the video on 720 HD if you don't already if you aren't on 720 HD then I doubt you can even read what these two things here say so if you're not already on 720HD, I highly re uh, recommend putting it on 720HD. Otherwise, you're probably not going to be able to follow and comprehend what I'm doing here in the actual video. So yeah, for Xbox users here, you're going to want to download the uh, modding tool and also Horizon, or you can use Modio as well. But I'm showing you guys how to do it with Horizon. And after that, you're also going to want to have either a transfer cable to plug your hard drive into your computer or a USB drive to plug into your computer. Um, that can hold your game save on it and once you have one of those two devices plugged into your computer and both of these things extracted and usable on your desktop you're going to want to right click horizon and run it as an administrator if you don't run it as an administrator then it won't be able to read your device <coughs> okay so i already have it open here and when horizon comes open it's going to show you this and it's going to say either hard disk drive or if you have a flash drive plugged in it'll say flash drive regardless you should have a games folder and you're going to want to open that up and you're going to want to go to Borderlands 2, and you're going to want to find the game save that you're going to want to mod. Once you've done that, you're going to want to take the game save and drag it into Horizon. Now you're going to want to go to Contents, and in the Contents section, there should be one file, and it's called SaveGame.Save. You're going to want to right-click it and choose to Extract, and then just extract it straight to your desktop. should say File Extracted Successfully. Now just leave everything be and just minimize from Horizon. At this point, you're going to want to open up the folder with the uh, modding tool inside, gibbit.borderlands2.saveedit, and you're just going to want to double click it. No need to run it as an admin or anything. Exit out of the folder, and here you can see we have the editor. At this point, you're going to want to hit open, and I'm actually going to just bring this whole thing. You're going to want to open, and of course, you're going to want to 
bring up your save game file here and yeah now you can pretty much start doing stuff so as you can see it gives me my current information it says I'm level 1 um, 71 experience the name of the character is test shows me what you can uh, what I'm wearing here and the save slot of the game <coughs> here's even further proof that it works for all you know all consoles there wouldn't be a PC and PS3 option here if it uh, wasn't possible to mod those files so you can literally change it to any character. If I am in, in a commander right now, I can change it to a siren if I want to. And I'm actually going to change it to assassin, I guess. And you can set your level at literally anything you want. Even you can set it, you know, I'm going to set mine at 127 because I personally have a lot of guns that are level 127 for that reason. So, uh... Yeah, and, and this will appear online. You'll you'll be a level 127 online, but like I told you in my previous video, um, if you go online, you can get reported by other people who take the game way too seriously. I mean, it's a competitive game, for God's sake. You know, who's going to cry about modding in a competitive, or in a, in, a, uh, in a cooperative game? I apologize if I said competitive uh, before. But yeah, it's a cooperative game. It's not competitive whatsoever. If you don't like someone coming into your game modded, you can just kick them from the game or you could just play privately with friends but regardless it's a cooperative game so people need to stop crying you know <clears throat> anyway you can make the experience whatever you want it doesn't matter if you make the experience one and you're level 127 you're still gonna have the level 127 but um, just for the sake of, of being somewhat correct here I'm just gonna put 10 million XP and general skill points you can set to whatever you want specialist skill points whatever you want the general skill points are like uh, your skills that you put in to your skills on the skill tree. Specialist skill points, I actually don't know what they are. Um, I haven't seen them affect anything. I don't know. But like I said, I'm going to be making more videos with this program. So if I find out that there's, some, that there's something special, then I will, of course, uh, make a video about them. You can change the name of your character to uh, a random. Or no, you can change it to noob. Or you can change it to demon asylum because you love me. But, you know, we're going to go ahead and call it Noob because that's what I consider myself a lot of the time. And you can just do a random head and a random skin here. And you're going to go over to Currency. And, of course, you can edit your money. I'm going to give myself max money. 999999. And you can only have up to 99 Iridium and up to 999 Seraph Crystals. Which, for those of you who do not know, are the new type of Iridium kind of from the uh, new DLC that came out, Pirate's Booty, and it makes it so you can buy guns kind of black market, like not really, but it's it's from the guy in the DLC. You can buy uh, weapons from him with Seraph Crystals, and you get the Seraph Crystals from killing the two raid bosses um, from the new DLC, which I'll have videos up about. Those are actually the couple videos I had coming after this one. So, aside from that, it shows you your uh, backpack. It'll give you the amount of items and stuff you have equipped and in your backpack. You can create new weapons by inputting whatever you want here and kind of just, just using whatever you want. Nothing's obviously showing up because I never picked the first one, uh, the first type to begin with. But you can make your own weapons there and then paste in the code. And you can also edit the weapons you already have and yeah now you can show your bank which is I'm pretty sure the little vault thing um, the uh, the vault in sanctuary that's Roland's and you can also create new weapons into uh, the vault and if you already have some there you can edit those as well and then here is the raw stuff you can edit a whole bunch of stuff here I'm not gonna get into this stuff I'm gonna make separate videos for these sorts of things but you can edit a whole bunch of stuff you can edit your challenges you can edit how much ammo you can hold, how many inventory slots, bank slots you have, how much uh, uh, black market upgrades you have. All You can unlock all of the fast travel places. Um, you can make your skills higher than five, even though they only go up to five or some only go up to one. You can make them higher than that. You can mess with pretty much anything with this. So, yeah, that's kind of it, guys. So, pretty much whenever you have everything you want modded on your character, you're going to want to come up here and just click Save. And you're going to want to make sure that you put it in a different location than where you put your first one. So my first one is on the desktop. I'm just going to make a quick folder. And I'm just going to put it in there. And you're just going to want to call the file save, save game. And then you're just going to want to hit enter. You can exit out of the program now. And inside you should have your new save game file. You're going to want to go back to horizon. And you're going to want to highlight the uh, save game.save. And you're going to want to right click it and choose to replace it. 
and now you're going to want to go to your new modded save game file and just double click it. It should say file replace successfully, hit OK. And then you're going to want to come back and just hit save, rehash, and resign. I usually do it two times just to be safe. And then you should be good, guys. All of your uh, modifications should show up on the game and work online. And then you'll be able to enjoy them all. So that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, I have a couple more videos coming soon. I'm also going to be uploading more tutorials on how to do things more in depth with this program to edit more. You guys just got to let me know what you want to see how to do and what to mod. <coughs> um, things I'll definitely be doing is uploading uh, videos how to show um, how to mod items, weapons, that kind of thing. And, and stuff like ammo and inventory slots and all that good stuff. Also, for the PS3 and PC users, uh, stay tuned for the videos I'm going to be uploading specifically for you guys updating you on the situation with PS3 users and showing the PC users how to mod Borderlands 2 easier and also get the file that you would use in this program. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like and a favorite as I asked in the beginning of the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Again, links will be in the top of the description. I thank you guys again for watching my video and take it easy. Peace.